speech-driven gesture generation is highly challenging due to the random jitters of human motion. In addition, there is an inherent asynchronous relationship between human speech and gestures. To tackle these challenges, we introduce a novel quantization-based and phase-guided motion matching framework. Specifically, we first present a gesture VQVAE module to learn a codebook to summarize meaningful gesture units. We then use Levenstein distance to align diverse gestures with different speech. Levenstein distance based on audio quantization, which helps match more appropriate gestures with speech. Moreover, we introduce phase to guide the optimal gesture matching based on the semantics of context or rhythm of audio, which makes the generated gestures more natural. Our method outperforms recent approaches on speech-driven gesture generation. Producing human-like and speech-appropriate gestures is still very difficult due to two main challenges. Random jittering, people make many small jitters and movements when they speak, which can lead to a decrease in the quality of the generated gestures. Inherent asynchronicity with speech, unlike speech with face or lips, there is an inherent asynchronous relationship between human speech and gestures. We propose a novel quantization-based motion matching framework for audio-driven gesture generation to address the random jittering and address the inherent asynchronicity of speech and gestures, and further improve the quality of gesture generation. The main contributions of our work are, we present a novel quantization-based motion matching framework for speech-driven gesture generation. And we propose to align diverse gestures with different speech using Levenstein distance, based on audio quantization. Third, we design a phase guidance strategy to select optimal audio and text candidates for motion matching. Extensive experiments show that jittering and asynchronicity issues can be effectively alleviated by our framework. The inference procedure of our framework is shown in figure. Given a piece of audio, text and seed pose, the audio and gesture are first quantized. The best candidate for the speech is calculated based on the Levenstein distance. And the best candidate for the text is calculated based on the cosine similarity. Then the most optimal gesture is selected based on the phase corresponding to the seed code and the phase corresponding to the two candidates. We design a pose VQVAE as shown in figure. We first adopt a 1D temporal convolution network to encode the joint sequence G to context-aware features. We quantize G by mapping each temporal feature GI to its closest codebook element ZJ. A following deconvolutional decoder DG projects them back to the motion space as a pose sequence. Thus the encoder, decoder and codebook can be trained by optimizing this loss function. We use VQ, Wave 2 VEC model which discretizes audio to tokens. And we use SentenceBert to extract the semantic of text segment. For the motion matching stage, the CA hat is obtained by sorting according to the Levenstein distance of the audio. Pose ranking based on the Euler distance of the joints leads to pose-based precandidate CG hat. Sorting according to the cosine distance of the text yields CD hat. The three pre-candidate gesture sequences are identical and are all codes from the codebook learned in the previous stage, only in a different order. Based on the pre-candidate sequences CA hat and CG hat, the audio candidate CA is obtained. Similarly, the text candidate CT is obtained based on the pre-candidate sequences CT hat and CG hat. According to the consistency of the motion phase, we use phase guidance to select whether the gesture is audio rhythmically relevant or text semantically relevant. First, we adopt a 1D temporal convolution network EP to a latent space of the motion G, for each channel. Our goal is to extract a good phase offset to capture its current point as part of a larger cycle. It is complicated to calculate the phase of a cluttered curve directly, so we calculate periodic parameters amplitude, A, frequency, F, offset, B, and phase shift, S, first. We apply differentiable real fast Fourier transform to each channel of L and create the zero indexed matrix of Fourier coefficients. The periodic parameters are computed as follows. The network is learned with the periodic parameters via the following loss function. In this work, we perform the training and evaluation on the BEAT dataset, which to our best knowledge is the largest publicly available motion capture dataset for human gesture generation. 
we use 15 joints corresponding to the upper body without hands or fingers. We compare our proposed framework with end-to-end, trimodal, style gestures, KNN and CMN. The results are shown in table. Our proposed model consistently performs favorably against all the other existing methods on all evaluations. Our method has a similar motion speed profile for any given joint. And our method significantly surpasses the compared state-of-the-art methods with both human likeness and appropriateness, and even above the ground truth, GT, in human likeness and appropriateness. However, there is no significant difference compared to the appropriateness of GT. Please watch the video for more comparisons with the baseline model. The men stood up and the women took the chance to get out of there. One of the men was upset that the females left and was upset. So he took a glass bottle and bashed my friend's face of it and ran out of the bar. The results of our ablation studies are summarized in table. When we do not use VQ, wave 2 VEC or Levenstein distance, but use wave LM and cosine similarity instead, the performances of all metrics have deteriorated. When one of the modalities of both text and speech is not used. The FGD metric increases while the Hellinger distance average metric decreases, which indicates that the quality of the gestures generated when only one modality is used decreases, but the distribution of the velocity becomes better. When the phase guidance is removed. The results showed a slight increase in Hellinger distance average and FGD on raw data space and a slight decrease in FGD on feature space, but none of the changes were significant. When the model is trained using deep gated recurrent unit to learn pose code instead of motion matching. The FGD on feature space and FGD on raw data space deteriorated. This demonstrates the advantage of the matching model over the generative model. Here is a video of the ablation study. One time, I was walking home from work, waiting at the bus stop for a bus. Then I heard the sound of gunfire from across the road. In this paper, we present a quantization-based and phase-guided motion matching framework for speech-driven gesture generation. Specifically, we address the random jittering issue by using discrete representation that encodes human gestures. Besides, we tackle the inherent asynchronicity of speech and gestures and flexibility of the current motion matching models by Levenstein distance based on audio quantization. Then, phase-guided audio-based or text-based candidates are used as the final result. Experiments on the standard benchmark, i.e., beat dataset, along with user studies show that proposed framework achieves state-of-the-art performance both qualitatively and quantitatively. Thank you for your attention.